The word do, present tense. Here you see the conjugation of do, I do, you do, he does, she does, it does. Now we change only in the third person. The plural form is we do, you do, they do. The verb do can be used to make a statement like I do the laundry every weekend, but it's usually used to make the present tense or the past tense negative. Okay? In negative, I don't have any money. He didn't go to the store yesterday. It's also used when making questions. Do you know what time it is? Does he have a coat? Here we have some sentences using do and pictures to help you understand what the sentence has to say. A statement, I wear glasses, okay, that's a statement. But to make that a negative, I don't see well without my glasses. And to make that a question, we say, do you wear glasses? And you can see he does wear glasses. The statement here, you speak French. The negative, you don't speak Chinese. As a question, do you speak Vietnamese? There he is, you. Here we have he. Statement, he works on a computer at work. Negative, he doesn't work outside. And the question, does he like his job. Go down to the next one. You see this uh, beautiful young lady. So she is used for women. Statement, she rides a bike to work. The negative, she doesn't have a car. Question, does she wear a helmet? This is a helmet. This is a bicycle. The answer is, since this is a yes-no type of question, yes, she does. Okay? Notice the answer to the question uses do. Yes, she does. Does is do uh, for the third person. We continue here. This is it. And it refers to an object. Statement. It looks ripe. Ripe means it's ready to eat. Negative, it doesn't grow in the winter in Minnesota. That's the name of the state. Question, does it grow in the spring? And the answer to that is a yes, no answer. Yes, it does. Now we have a statement. You see two people, and two people is we. And more than two people is we. We live in Minnesota. The negative, we don't live in Canada. And the question, do we like Minnesota? It's a yes, no answer. So we say, yes, we do. Or you can say, yes, we like Minnesota. Now we have these football players. Now this is you, the plural form of you. You have more than one person, and that is the plural of you. Statement, you play football. Negative, you don't play tennis. Question, do you play football all year long? Year-long means 
during the entire year. No, we don't. We play in the fall. Now we have the they form, and they can be people or things. Here we have people with dogs. So they. Statement, they walk their dogs every day. Negative, they don't take their car for a walk, or their cat for a walk. Question, <clears throat> do they walk their dogs on a leash? And this is a leash, this line he has from his hand to the neck of the dog. Yes, they do. The verb do is a very important verb. We use it to make the present tense, the present tense negative, and for asking questions. And here we have some examples. I do many things on the weekend. That's the present tense. Do is the main verb, and do means an action. I, I do many things. I, you know, it shows an action. He doesn't like to go to the store, present tense, negative, like is the main verb. This do here, do not, is the auxiliary verb. Do you want to see a movie? Present tense, question, want is the main verb. Do you want, okay? Do is often used as a main verb, but only for particular activities such as housework, cleaning, studying, research, shopping, and so forth. And we can see that in the examples. I do the dishes every night. Do means wash. I wash the dishes. I do the dishes. She does her grocery shopping at club. Do means go. She goes grocery shopping or finish. She finishes her grocery shopping. They do their homework at the library. Do equals complete. In this case, it can also mean the, the act of doing the homework. So they or let's complete their work at the library. And the past tense form of do is did. Example, I did the dishes last night. Or she did her groceries shopping at club. And do is also used for creating emphasis. For example, if I say something, you know, you don't like this very much, uh, you do not like this very much, or I don't, you don't like this very much, and I would say in response, I do like it, I do, we say it strongly. 